here is the real start of the show. Bam, hey, with a little bit of enthusiasm, Miguel. Boom. Ba Boom. Bam. Performance on this guy. Wow. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel, and you're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear. Today, we have an awesome unboxing for you guys. This is going to be a good one, guys. Uh, awesome knife inside this box. You probably saw the title and thumbnail, so you probably have a hint of what's in here, and I'm very, very excited to add this knife to my knife collection. It's one that I've been looking forward to for quite some time, and I'm super excited that I finally get to add it to my knife arsenal. There's going to be affiliate links for this guy if you want to pick it up for yourself those links do help out the channel at no extra cost to you so do check those out and without further ado let's just get into the thing here shall we doing the honors today we have the msi from microtech right this bad boy right here msi stands for microtech standard issue and need to see this thing like crazy and i'll be i already did an unboxing video on this guy and i'll be dropping a comprehensive review here very shortly so if that isn't a reason to subscribe then maybe the knife that's in here might be a reason to uh smash that like button if you haven't already because after all it is free and it does help out this channel grow to a larger audience but without further ado let's go ahead and make an incision right over here a couple more cuts through here got this package from ek nice all right they were the only one that had this bad boy in stock so let's see did i make all the necessary cuts to be able to open this bad boy it feels like this tape on this side still needs a little bit of persuasion. There we go. What about rip the box? Because why not? <laughs> Here it is, you all. Yes, you got that right. We are talking about another Microtech knife. So let's take a look and see what we have here right off the bat. Okay, EK knives hooking it up with a lollipop right there. Some good stuff. Okay, we got some other stuff here. I got a summary, I believe, from my purchase order. Hello, Miguel. Thank you for supporting EK. We hope you love your stitch. And uh, I might just give it away there. Uh, stitch Remlock. Hope you have a knife day. That's their that's their thing. And have a knife day from Misty. Well, thank you for that. What else we have here? We have a Band-Aid. <laughs> Got a band-aid here for when I do eventually cut myself because it will happen. So I got a backup band-aid right there and a nice EK logo uh, sticker going on as well from EK Knife. So awesome stuff. They hooked it up there. So that's good. Thank you guys for that. I'm excited to be one of your customers. And I always have to say this because I have a small channel. I don't always get knives sent to me like the big channels do. So I purchased this guy with my own money. So you'll be getting my, undeniably, my... Uh, 100% feedback uh, on this knife and I would always share with you guys my 100% feedback regardless whether the knife was sent to me or whether I purchased it with my own money so Microtech knives let me give you guys there any hints right here as well there you go stitch ramlock se with a fluted g10 yes sir yes sir let's see what else we got here got the instructions on this bad boy right looks like you're unboxing an iPhone that's how high end this feels that's some uh manual information a eagle talon sticker right there that's microtech's logo and yep a little bit about their manual folder single action automatics all that good stuff we'll put that to the side and here here is the real start of the show so let's make some room here shall we holy moly i can't believe i'm holding this thing in my hands let's see bada beam bada boom bam there it is guys take a good look at this thing oh my goodness check it out the microtech stitch in its full glory right the date on this one is 10 23 i was really hoping it would have been september 23 instead since that's the date on my msi here i was trying to hope for a matching one but uh hey it's all good i got a stitch on my hands y'all with the ram lock we already know how good that ram lock is so man oh man i'm excited look at this backspacer here nice and meaty all the way through lots of jimping going on there some good g10 all oh, that g10 feels so good but yeah let's get uh, let's get this open here shall we all right first flip here we go bam okay let's do that again uh Bam, hey, with a little bit of enthusiasm, Miguel. Boom. All right. Oh, I like that sound already. It has a nice thunk to it. Oh, when it comes back. Wow. Okay. So I'm doing the thumb deployment right there with the thumb hole. You can do a slow opening too if you want it. Of course, that ram lock is very, very fidgety, very easy to actuate. Right. And that is a heck of a blade there. Oh my gosh. 
do a reverse flick. Boom. Can you reverse flick? Absolutely. There's no doubt about that. And it feels really, really good to do that, by the way. I want to say this G10 already feels so, so much better compared to that, that FRN going on or that uh, plastic molded whatever is going on here on the MSI. And the G10 is, is, is worth it. It feels so good, higher quality. And of course, you have the same M390 blade going on on this guy. This one is a Savage blade because it is a collaboration with Borka blades. They also make their own version of the stitch. So if you haven't looked into Borka blades, make sure to check them out. And yeah, this is a collaboration with Microtech. And man, oh man, what a what a savage of a knife. This thing, I believe, came out this year with the RAM lock, which is obviously manual deployment. It looks very similar to a crossbar lock or an access lock from Benchmade. But of course, Microtech put their own juice, their own version into that. It's called the RAM lock. And man, it works so, so good. I was already in love with the ram lock on my MSI and I just had to have it had to have it here on the stitch let me give you a good side-by-side -side comparison right there so you guys be the judge so it looks like the MSI might be just a little bit longer on overall length right and also cutting edge as well right a little bit more longer cutting edge on the MSI compared to the shorter cutting edge on the stitch they are both rocking the M390 MK, which I'm not a metallurgist, but the M390 MK is a specific version of M390 that Microtech commissioned for their specific knife. So it has some special sauce for Microtech in there. Also, I'll be doing some more research, check out the review on either MSI or the Stitch once that's ready, because I'll be going into that a little bit more. But a nice side by side right there. Let's throw in some more nice here, shall we? Here is the Civivi Sentinel Strike, another knife that I've been unboxing, that I've been EDCing here for quite some time, right? About the same measurements, same total length. Okay, let's throw in the usuals. Actually, we'll throw in another Civivi, because why not? The Civivi Vision FG is a little bit shorter, another nice and very fidgety knife with the super lock. Unboxing and review video is available for this guy. Let's do some of the usuals. Here's the PM2. Right, definitely larger than the PM2, no doubt about that. Overall length is bigger than the PM2. The smaller brother, the pair of three, definitely gonna be bigger than the pair of three, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, and what about, the, let's throw in some Demcos here. All right, the Demco 8025 with the 8020.5 with the clip point and the 8020.5 with the shorts foot blade and definitely larger than both of them with no doubt this is going to be guys a large knife this is probably a full size knife indeed i want to say it feels really really good in the hand right the pocket clip is a little bit at an angle here deep pocket carry going on right it looks like about this much of the knife if anything is going to be showing at all i like how the lanyard hole if anything is actually much smaller than the one on the msi and it's also also made as part of this backspacer back here. It's also very nice, very good. That G10, that looks very nice and machine. Like the machining on this G10 is like nothing else that I've seen so far. This feels so good. So, so good, right? Definitely a step up over this uh, injection molded plastic on the MSI. Now, price difference, of course, this guy's about $170, whereas this guy's gonna be around $300. So definitely quite a price bump right there, uh, without a doubt. And it is, again, available at EK Nice. That's where I picked it up. Now, these things go in and out of stock like crazy. So check out those links below. Uh, I am not affiliated with EK. I know I always share that statement all the time because I try to you know, find affiliate links for all the knives that I share in the channel that help support what I do here. But I'm not affiliated with EK, so I can't give you an affiliate link, but I'll try to link this guy down there regardless. And again, these do come in and out of stock all the time. So chances are, you know, you might have to hunt around for this guy a little bit before you're able to place an order, place an order and get one of them um, sent to you. But uh, very aggressive finger choy going on right here. That is one of the biggest, craziest, aggressive finger choy going on there. And you do have this section right here with some jimping going on in the spine of the blade. So choking up on this guy feels extremely natural, like very, very natural action going on here as far as choking up the blade. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it is nice and coated with a nice little uh, layer of oil right there to preserve the blade. It's probably gonna go out the window here the second I start slicing with this guy. And a very 
pokey pokey tip right there right for my nick shabazz fans out there that is gonna yeah definitely cause some damage right there love the warren cliff shorts no, not shark's foot but warren cliff um modified sheep's foot you know look to it i like this section right here kind of looks like a harpoon style in a way but honestly a very unique blade right very iconic of borka blades if you've looked into any of borka blades designs you know that you know they make these really good savage looking blades the nice uh the opening right here for the thumb hole right there is nice and big so you can slow open this guy reverse flick boom and then thumb deploy oh, slippy fingers slippery fingers boom and again, there's some some sound to it. Listen how it sounds on the close. I don't know, there's something different about flipping this guy, right? The MSI sounded like this, right? A little bit of a different sound. Both have the RAM lock, by the way. So mechanism here is for as uh, on the lock up, right? It's pretty much the same exact one. I feel like honestly, this is not a review video, this is just an unboxing and first impressions, but I feel like Microtech definitely knocked it out of the park with their version of the crossbar lock, which is the RAM lock. And yeah, basically it's a, a coil spring going on, that coil spring, right, basically pushes this section right here forward and it is on ball bearings. So the action on this guy is very, very smooth, very drop shutty, if you will. Look at that, all right, once you actuate the RAM lock, it drops shot very very easily so as far as billboarding on this guy only the steel there and the microtech logo i'm glad they didn't do the one where it's all printed out like basically this thing in bigger font right basically this thing on bigger font like printed all throughout the blade i'm glad they didn't do that in this version of course it is a collaboration with worker blade so that's on there and then nothing else on the other side and then you also have a little bit of ball billboarding on the clip with uh the stitch and the date that it was produced so that's which is pretty neat right my msi was 923 my stitch is 1023 so that's pretty neat maybe i can pick up some other ram lock like the amphibian for 1123 i don't know this stuff <laughs> it's kind of crazy you guys that this price i mean these prices definitely add up and uh, these are some premium knives there's no doubt about that and so definitely also have a premium price for sure so this guy was a little bit over 300 i want to say i got a discount from ek being a first customer which reduced my purchase by 25 dollars. so i got it for around 25 dollars less under 300 so you know do look into that if you want to pick up a stitch and you want ek uh you know you can cer certainly check which knife dealers may have it in stock but ek actually comes in and out of these in stock more often i think than other carriers than other knife dealers based on what i've seen and you can get or sign up for their ek rewards right they give you 25 dollars off so i mean again versus paying full price all right, might as well if you're gonna pick it up right get a $25 discount so check that out on the EK website EK rewards again I'm not affiliated with them so you'll be doing that on your own I, I happen to do it myself and I save 25 bucks so what about saving some money when I can especially when making a large purchase but yeah the action on this guy is so so good like so solid there's something about the ram lock that I just love because it is so so good such a very like robust locking mechanism and also makes it so easy makes the knife so so easy to use right this curvature right here on the stitch it's also very good when you put this against your hand right there to open and close like that's just so so good and yeah guys i'm excited i'm excited about edc and this guy so let's do a paper cutting test on this bad boy here shall we of course it's going to cut out of the box there's no doubt about that but you guys like seeing this all right all right, take a look right there, those swirls. That is a very bitey edge, no doubt. Let's get some first official slices with the Microtech stitch. Boom, oh my gosh. Wow, if I had to put that in perspective, I wanna say this is probably the easiest I've ever seen or felt the knife cut through paper, All right? Wow. Butter smooth, definitely very sharp out of the box indeed. There's no doubt in my mind. I cut there a little bit, but boom, bam. You guys be the judge. Let me know on in the comments on a scale from one to ten how sharp is this guy? Yeah, I'd say definitely, extremely sharp. And of course, let's do also some cardboard, 
right? The flavor of the week is we still have some pull-ups diaper left over. So here we go, all right? When cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular like this, but rather at an angle like that. And I'm gonna get a good forward choke grip on this guy. Boom, I'm gonna say that tip, it's gonna put in work all the way to the very tip. So even though you have a less, less of a cutting edge than you do with the MSI, you can still get quite a lot of cutting performance on this guy. Wow, yeah, it's gonna cut through like, <laughs> It's actually cutting through this cardboard like so, so easily. I'm not sure if the camera does it justice. I gotta be very careful here. I don't cut a finger off. <laughs> but you guys, yeah, you get the idea. This thing is a savage blade and very good for utility cuts, I feel like, right? With this nice indentation here for the finger, you can get some slice cuts if you want while still having the knife uh, quite a bit elevated from the table right there, All right? If you wanted to, that's really good, so. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the Microtech Stitch, right? Collaboration with Borka Blades. This thing is a savage, beastly knife. And again, uh, I think it came out first as an automatic. Microtech, Microtech just decided to put the uh, RAM lock on it, making it a manual uh, earlier this year. And so I believe this is their first year of production. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's... Uh, that's the case and man what a what a good first impression right off the bat so i'm excited to edc this guy come back to you guys with some collective overall feedback during the review but i will tell you right off the bat first impressions on this guy it does not disappoint it has that wild factor it puts a smile on the face right out of the box and it does definitely performs there's no doubt about that the cutting performance is there without a shadow of a doubt so nice stone wash finish going on here i like that and uh, you can tell the the quality check on this thing is really really good because the fit and finish all throughout this thing is spot on you don't see anything out of place it was machined to perfection very aligned blade right there and yeah just uh a little bit wider right once folded than the msi but not by much Right, the blade sticks out just a little bit more there based on the shape. But again, I mean, <laughs> it's a great companion to my MSI and it is on this fluted G10, which already right off the bat feels so much better than that uh, injection molded plastic on the MSI. There's a G10 version of this guy. I was just trying to pick it up at the most affordable point, so I can't really give it too much of a, a hard time for that. So I'm happy to have the MSI and then now the stitch all right you guys you know the drill right i'm going to go ahead and edc this knife along with all the other ones that i have on cue i'm going to try to get as much feedback as possible to share with you all and then come back and share all of that in a review video so if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel right please do so be on the lookout for that video smash that like button if you haven't already because it really helps out the channel it helps support this video reach a larger audience and it helps the channel grow and if you want to take your support a step farther please check out the patreon link down below and support the channel for as little as one dollar a month if you made it to the very end you guys are the real mvps you guys know i love you all take good care and i'll see you guys on the next one peace